The United States is keeping a watchful eye on events unfolding in Egypt right now. CCTV's Jessica Stone is live at the White House, and she joins us now with the latest reaction from there. Jessica. And Elaine, uh, just about an hour ago, the White House did release a statement on behalf of President Barack Obama after he spent uh, much of the day in, the, in the, his uh, situation room. And we have a picture to show you that the White House has released. Uh, you can see the president sitting there with his uh, uh, national security advisor, Susan Rice, with the attorney general, with his deputy secretary of state, and with uh, defense secretary Chuck Hagel, uh, after which he did release a statement uh, that basically um, says that... Uh, the people must decide what happens, that the United States is monitoring what's going on. Uh, he did call on the Egyptian military not to arrest any member of the Morsi government or any of his supporters. And we have a quote as well from it in which he talks specifically about what should happen next. Quote, I now call on, Egyptian, on the Egyptian military to move quickly and responsibly to return full authority back to a democratically elected civilian government as soon as possible through an inclusive and transparent process. And Elaine, uh, what has been very clear throughout the United States' handling of this situation from their perspective, what we heard from the State Department uh, earlier in the day was simply that they shared the view uh, that the Egyptian military had about the speech that President Morsi gave uh, late um, late last night in which he, he tried to make the case for why he should stay. It, obviously, the Egyptian military uh, were not convinced and it did not appear, uh, based on State Department statements uh, today, that they were either. Well, and Jessica, throughout the day, we've heard various terms describing what is taking place there, a military coup, a revolution, also an uprising. Does it really matter what the U.S. decides? It is actually when it also comes to giving Egyptian, the Egyptians aid. It absolutely does. And in fact, the president has also called for a full review of U.S. aid uh, to Egypt. There's $1.5 billion in U.S. aid to Egypt annually. And if the United States does consider what happened today a military coup that under U.S. law has to cut off their aid to uh, the, the country of Egypt. Now, we notice in his statement he did not at any point use the word coup. Uh, he could call it a revolution. He could call it an uprising. Uh, all ears will be on the uh, administration's words going forward in terms of how they characterize what we're seeing right now in Tahrir Square. All right, Jessica Stone reporting live from the White House. Thank you for that update from there.